Juan, going into the season, there are a bunch of guys, new guys, Chris Young, Curtis Granderson. Uh, how do you feel about having two experienced outfielders joining you in the outfield in the competition in spring training for center field? Yeah, I feel good. You know, that's, I see the, like, the team sign a new guy, you know, new outfielder. But I just want to be ready, you know, keep working and try to keep doing what I know to do, play. I know that you just got here to Michigan. What here happened today that's going to help you prepare to get up to training strength for spring training? I think everything we do here can help me a lot, you know, to be more, more ready for, for, for the game. Were you excited about leaving the warmth of the south to come up to Michigan when it's minus 9 degrees? Uh, no, really. You know, I hate it cool, but, you know, it's... We work here, you know, in the gym, and I feel good, good, good working here, and I just want to keep doing this. Looking back on your first year with the big league club, what were the best parts, and what do you look forward to most for the 2014 season? I think, it's like, like I say, keep working hard and try to take advantage of every opportunity I get, you know, and um, try to have the team in, in any position they need, you know. Super Bowl, you're going to watch it on Sunday, and if so, who you're rooting for and why? Uh, Super Bowl, what is, I, I don't understand that. that uh, you know. You're not going to watch the Super Bowl on Sunday, Cowboys, uh, uh, Broncos versus uh, Seahawks? Yeah, maybe I watch it with a with guy, you know, but I really don't understand that game a lot, you know. But. <laughs> Do you care who wins? <laughs> The best parts of what you did last year on the field and the things that you need the most improvement going into the 2014 season? I think the defense is the, the best part I do. You know, I just want to keep working my my hitting, you know, and I uh, try to be learning about, you know, be patient and try to, like, keep working, in, you know, in every effect. Did you do anything fun after the season concluded? Uh, did you relax? Did you travel? And what did you do? On the baseball side, you know, that you played uh, played down south, right? Uh, yeah, you know, after the season was over, I just go home, stay a lot, like one two week, and then go to my winning winning ball team, Aguilar from Dominican, and I started play again. You know, working to try to be prepared for, for the season. Did you enjoy it playing in the Dominican League? Yeah, a lot. What was the best part of it? I think you know the a lot of veteran guys, you know. Just ask, ask questions and learn from everybody, you know, and try to play to win like like we do here. It's just the same. Was Dave, was Dave down there, Hudgens? Was he in uh, uh, Coach No, I think he, he was in the Venezuela. Venezuela, yeah. Okay, if you ran into a fan on the streets of New York, what would you tell them in terms of being excited about the season ahead for the Mets, why they should come out? We want to give everything we got to try to, to win. Like, we always play, you know, like, try to win. How cool is it playing in New York? Did you ever think when you were a kid that you'd be a big league ball player playing in New York City? Uh, I never think that, you know, but I feel like happy to be there because a lot of, a lot of people, you know, you feel more like at home. I feel like in Dominican playing with you, you know. Did the fans give you a warm welcome, you think? Yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> Lastly, one last question. Winter Olympics are coming up. Any interest in the Winter Olympics in any form or fashion, given where you're from? Um, no. <laughs> Loaded question. Yeah, I, I, just, I just say good love to, to everybody, you know. And, uh, <laughs> I really don't don't know like a big fan of that, of that game. You know? <laughs>